This video explains how to append rows to a pandas data frame within a for loop using the Python programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the Python code. For this video, we first need to import the pandas library, as you can see in the first line of code. And then for the first example of this tutorial, we also need to create an example data frame using the data frame constructor, as you can see in the second code snippet. So after running these lines of code, a new data frame is created, which is called data1. And we can print this data frame below the code snippet using the print function. And then you can see that our data frame contains six rows and three columns called x1, x2 and x3. Now let's assume that we want to append new rows to this data frame within a for loop. Then we can apply the code that you can see in the third code snippet. So in the first line of this code snippet, we are using a for loop and we are specifying that we want to loop over a range from one to four. And then within the for loop, we specify that we want to append the result of this at the bottom of our data frame and the result should be calculated based on the index i times the value 5. And then we are printing our data frame data one once again below the code box. So as you can see after running these lines of code, our original data is still contained in this data frame. However, we have added three further rows which contain the result of i times 5 at the bottom of our input data frame. So in this first example, I have explained how to append new rows to an already existing data frame. However, it's also possible to append rows to an empty data frame. And this is what I want to show you in the next example, starting in the fourth code box. So as a first step, we are creating an empty data frame, as you can see in this line of code. And then we can also print our data frame below the code box. So as you can see, after printing our data frame data two, an empty data frame is shown, which contains zero rows, but the three columns x1, x2 and x3. Now let's assume that we want to add new rows to this data frame row by row using a for loop. Then we can apply the code that you can see in the fifth code box. So once again, we are using a for loop to loop over a range. And then we are specifying a certain calculation that should be conducted within the for loop. And we are storing the output of this at the bottom of our data frame. And then we are printing the output, as you can see below the code box. So as you can see, our new data frame contains five rows and the results within this data frame correspond to the calculations that we have conducted within the for loop. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.